This country does not have a housing policy. It is defunct. And the lack of affordable housing, particularly affordable rents, is a crisis. It's actually a crisis for your students. When they leave here in four years, two years, one year, they don't make enough to afford a two-bedroom apartment. You know, I've been in Mississippi for 25 years. I went there to start a small business loan fund based uh, in the Delta region of Mississippi, Arkansas, and Louisiana. In addition to being a traditionally trained historian, I bring this practical piece to the table with my experience uh, working in the criminal justice system. I've worked on over 30 Indian reservations in the country. I've worked in every state in the union, mostly in the rural places, trying to help um, help communities figure out how they want to reduce poverty. As a survivor of sex trafficking and a formerly um, incarcerated young person, um, my work has started um, really in the jail cell. Um, I remember I was a person where I would go around the dorm and talk to women and, you know, say, like, what is your story? Can, can I hear you? Can, well, what happened to you? Why are you here? What do Southern communities need the most? and how especially can academic institutions and researchers move their concerns to the center of our work. The, the conversation has to change, you know, and so part of a lot of what we've done in different ways through our North Carolina Digital Heritage Center, through Community Driven Archives work that we're currently um, piloting with a Mellon Foundation grant, um, is to center the needs and desires of the community. This is generational work. And the reason we do civic leadership Work isn't to put ourselves in that position. It is to empower members of the community to become their own advocates. I deeply believe, given my philanthropic career, that it's local communities that are figuring out the answers to our toughest challenges. And we have to find a way to lift them up and we have to connect our university system with the work that folks are doing locally. And then uh, maybe we'll make real change in this country.